Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about Novak Djokovic, who just got kicked out of Australia last night, uh, and the whole crisis as it relates to uh, this debacle at the Australian Open. Let's, so stick around and listen. Okay. Uh, Novak Djokovic has been kicked out of Australia, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, I thought I'd do a little report from Tiger Mountain on what's going on. Um, you know, I mean, first of all, uh, I think that Novak Djokovic uh, had every right to come to Australia and that, um, you know, he had previously had COVID. So he, uh, in many countries of the world, that gives you an exemption of six months from things like the vaccine and stuff. So uh, he got a, a, an exemption along those lines. And, um, you know, he came out here expecting to play. And I see no reason why he shouldn't have played. I think it's disgusting that there seemed to be so many Australians um, that were very supportive of him being deported, which is absolutely ridiculous. Because think about this too, he was the number one tennis player in the world, ladies and gentlemen. The number one, the greatest living tennis player on the planet at the moment, right? And, um, you know, and we just kicked him out uh, of the country because he didn't have the right paperwork because suddenly we're Nazi Germany or something. It's fucking ridiculous. Not only we've pissed off diplomatic relations with Serbia, but look, I, I think it's uh, probably more complex than that in the sense that, like, they knew he would come here and that they would kick him out. You know what I mean? That, because I think Scott Morrison thinks um, that he's going to you know, get political points from this. And he might be right because it is bad. I do believe it has been popular kicking him out. And I mean, so, uh, you know, think about this. A lot of people have kind of obeyed the laws and, um, you know, gotten a jab, even though they know there's some risk involved. And then when they see somebody who's basically just flaunted it, and maybe due to the fact that they're a great tennis player, have managed to kind of like skip around maybe some of the rules, you know, they I want to see that person punished that really is the mindset uh, at the moment you know and um, you know the government itself has admitted they didn't um, you know kick him out because of a health reason they kicked him out because they thought that he would become a kind of dangerous icon uh, of the unvax movement um, and uh, which is probably true to some extent because I think he already has become that and he'll become that even more so now so I think it's absolutely ridiculous what just happened to Novak Djokovic and I think it's disgusting that so many Australians have gone along with this craziness and um, you know like uh, just uh, some Support his being deported. I think it's a disgrace that the world's number one tennis player uh, has been kicked out of Australia uh, right before the Australian Open. I mean, are we at the, the World Open or not? Are we a Grand Slam event? If we are, anyone who um, you know wants to play should be allowed to play. And whatever happened to what ScoMo said about there being a choice? People have a choice. Where it's not mandatory, particularly not foreigners from another country. It should be mandatory. They have some kind of ridiculous jab. So I think it's absolutely horrible what's happened to Novik. Djokovic, and I just wanted to say that tonight on a report for Tiger Mountain, so I thought I'd whip one up. Thank you for listening, and uh, stick around, and uh, more reports will be coming soon. Thank you.